Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on what you need to know right now. So we're just going to tune in to see what the cards say and to feel any other input that comes from your angels and guides. If you want to see what cards I'm using, I've put um, information about the cards and where to book a reading, how to connect with me under the video in the description. So let's see what we've got for okay. group number one. So first of all, group number one, your angel is balance. So there's some area in your life that you need to balance. There's some aspect of your self possibly that you need to balance. There's some way that you've come out of feeling centered and grounded and capable or you're overemphasizing one area of your life above the others. Let's see what we've got in the cards. So we've got moving. Change is happening, so be prepared to move physically or spiritually. So it could be that the imbalance is in your home. It could be that it's causing you to get into a situation where you know that it's time to move on. This isn't going to apply to everyone, obviously, but for some people it will be that you need to move physically in order to achieve balance, emotional balance possibly, maybe balance in finances, maybe balance in your career, maybe your home isn't conducive to you feeling settled and empowered enough to achieve um, the, the level of accomplishment that you want in the, uh, in any of those areas so you're moving on maybe you're moving spiritually in order to achieve balance so in other words um it could be that you need to raise your vibration raise your your frequency and it could be that in order to do that you have to move out of a home situation that limits you that keeps you stuck in an old 3d mindset or pattern or you're with people who don't share your beliefs or who don't allow you to open up and blossom fully spiritually it could be a job that's that's stultifying that's stifling you it could be any one of those things um, something that will help you You've got green, rejuvenate your nervous system. Balance as well will come from spending time in nature, will come from just finding ways to get very calm and centred within yourself. You've also got rejuvenate your body, so it's possible that you've just been stressed and under pressure as a result of either a living situation or a work situation. But it really, you know, I keep going back to this moving thing. They're really highlighting that for me and showing me that for some people it really is about home, changes that need to happen in home. And it's not necessarily um, you know, a question of you having to move. That's not going to apply to everyone. But for some people it might be that you need to reorganise or restructure your home in some way in order to give yourself more quiet time, more space to connect with yourself, to unjangle your nerves, to revitalize yourself, your energy and your nervous system, and to rejuvenate your body. So some of you are overworked or overstressed from the energies that you find yourself in because we've got clairsentience right next to that. So for a lot of you, this really is about energy, about spiritual awakenings and changes that have made you more sensitive and that have caused you to outgrow the situation that you're in, whether that's home or work or family or some other situation that's making that's beginning to feel difficult and toxic for you now. There's a part of you that's wanting to just spread your wings and be yourself and open up and be able to breathe fully, revitalize and connect with yourself. So let's see what else we've got. Angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to the angels. You need to be connecting with your angels much more. You need to be asking for their help. And I'm also hearing ask for their help with everything. So this is also a situation for some that involves wanting to improve your material situation. Maybe for some people it's going to be a question of when I improve my material situation, then I'm going to be able to move on to um, a, diff a better situation. Then I can change job or then I can start my own business or then I can focus on a career that I really love or I can do some studying or then I can leave a toxic situation. Maybe you can't leave that toxic situation until things change financially. But the feeling that I'm getting, the message that I'm getting here is that if you ask for help, 
you might find that you can shift into another vibration where you are able to receive inspiration that will show you things you haven't seen before that are solutions to a problem solutions that we can't always see when we're just mired in the 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 struggle of the situation that we're in so open up give your cares and worries in in the sense that in in the form of prayers or in the form of petitions or you know petitioning asking speaking to your guides meditating and just asking to be shown something that you haven't seen about this situation you might also be shown something about the situation that tells you what it's teaching you. Maybe it's giving you spiritual strength that you'll need for the work that you're gonna do or that you're gonna need for some future path that you'll be taking. But rest assured that you are moving to a place of a better financial situation that will help you to move forward. But you must ask for help. You've got um, the King of Gabriel, which is the King of Wands usually, and you've got the Seven of Gabriel. You're being asked to stand up for what you believe in and have confidence, claim your personal power. So if you are on a spiritual journey, but your home situation or your work situation or friendship groups or family groups aren't allowing you to blossom fully along that path, you're being asked to find other places and situations that do support you, that will hold you, that will create a vessel from which you can be productive and authentic and truthful to yourself. That word authentic is so overused, but just a place where you can feel connected to who you really are and feel that you're able to expand and blossom and be yourself. Um, the King of Gabriel so this can actually be a person, but it can also be an attitude, a perspective. And this is you being very driven. It can be you being very driven, very inspirational. So there's a part of you that really wants to stand up for something in the world and be seen standing up for it. So it could be that you want to speak, that you want to teach, that you want to, to guide people. This is a very spiritual sort of light worker message. But it, the whole story, looking at all the cards together where we started with moving, it looks like someone who's needing to uproot themselves in order to follow their true spiritual path and passion and when you do that then you start to become more able to do more because you manage to achieve um, financial balance and balance in wealth it could be that that's the balance that's missing that it's all very lopsided that you're focusing very much on your you've been developing sensitivity you've been working on your spiritual journey you've been speaking to your angels you feel very passionate about the message that you came here to bring but that you don't feel you have a structure a financial structure from which to actually spread that into the world so let's see what else comes but it the showing me this card again and saying if you stand up more for what you believe in in other words the more you commit to this path whether that's starting a youtube channel or starting um you know to to do something on facebook or to just do local groups it's not all about social media being on this path but start something it's this something it's almost as if it's on the tip of your tongue it's like you're about to start something and you hold yourself back and i'm feeling if you commit to starting that something in time that will begin to give you a better foundation so the two things work together it's the chicken or the egg which came first you know did you did you start it and then it supported you or did you su have to wait for the support you shouldn't have to wait for the support in other words, if you really believe in that journey, just commit, commit to it. Six of Michael. So some of you who chose this group are, have just come through a very difficult time. You might have already made this move. You might have already done this thing where you've had to move out of a difficult situation or group or environment. And you're seeing the light ahead of you now, the light at the end of the tunnel. You've got possibly someone helping you as well on that journey, helping you to move forward into better times, into a brighter future. But it feels a little bit stormy. It feels a bit rocky. Transitions always do. You know, as much as we'd like to think that, oh, as soon as we do this great thing, we make this move and it's what we felt prompted to do and we were obedient to what we felt. Everything just falls into place and it's amazing. It's not always like that. But don't let that be a reason to think that it won't be amazing eventually. 
go with the transition. Just hold on, <laughs> hold on, go with the fairground ride and things will settle down and balance out. Just have confidence in your own personal power and your ability to manifest things. It will come back to you. Look at that, how perfect. Victory and success right next to this one. So... You know, you can absolutely do it. So this would be, in the traditional tarot, tarot, that would be the Six of Swords with the Six of Wands next to it. So you're going through this very um, big transition, but you are going to be victorious in overcoming everything. And look at that, passion ignited. I just heard reignited. So for some people, this is going to be a passion that you already had before, but you're being asked to dust it off and bring it back into the open. So it could be that while you've been going through a transition, you've had to put certain things on the back burner and just focus on the practicalities and just, you know, kind of, I hate these expressions, but putting food, putting a roof over your head and keeping the wolf from the door and robbing Peter to pay Paul. And it's endless, aren't they? All these um, expressions that basically mean limitation and, and difficulty and challenge. I feel there's something waking up inside you that's going to push you into a different sphere of viewing things, a different way of viewing things. And yes, the transitions can be rocky. I know that personally. They don't always feel great. But if you hold on to that great vision, that fire inside you is much bigger and much more powerful than any of these so-called realities in the external world. That is what guides you forward and that is what makes things happen. That, you know, you, you, <laughs> there's not an awful lot more I can say about that. You're ready. It's time. You're ready. You've got yourself free. You're ready. And then you have foundation and achievements. How perfect. Let's put those together. Your passion is what's going to allow you to create your own firm foundation after making this change and being brave and going ahead and committing to what you really want. You will be able to achieve that balance. Look at that. You don't get much more balance than a four. Perfect four square corners. OK, so you will do that. Just, you know, trust the transition, go through it and just go allow yourself to be guided I've just heard <laughs> my guide has just said be guided you are being guided trust it and just keep going with the current that that keeps presenting itself to you don't get frustrated don't you know everything's coming just keep moving forward Ah, oh, and you've got memories of love. You that, that would be the Six of Cups. So it's possible that something or someone is going to come back into your life. And I'm seeing this on two levels. For some, it's going to be the re-emergence of a career or a passion or a goal that you had when you were very young. One of those childhood dreams, one of the first things that you said you wanted to do or be. Only now is going to have more of a spiritual perspective because you've been through all this sensitivity and all this awakening. And it's like now I know what I'm really here for. I understand what that earlier dream was about and how it fits into this wider perspective of this more mature, spiritual, evolved me. So that that's going to come back for some of you. And I love it that this, you know, there's a mirroring going here, going on here, that this hand is holding that flame and this is that inner flame. So treasure that flame, that flame of your creativity, of your passion, of who you really are, of who you came here to be. It's coming back to you. It's coming back to you possibly in another form. But if you keep your head screwed on and stay calm and stay balanced about the way you view everything and pursue taking the right steps one at a time, you will be able to use all of this passion to create a firm foundation for yourself and you will see those achievements coming in. I've, I'm hearing 10 years. For some people it's been 10 years that you've been wanting to see these achievements coming in and it's been slow. It's been a long slog, a slow battle and you know it's been a journey for you to actually even change, make some big changes and the rewards are coming. I've just heard the rewards are coming. Obviously, you have to put in the work. It's not just like, you know, a magic trick. But trust your passion and let that be the thing that guides all your actions and leads you along this path to balance and fulfillment. For some people, I feel that this Memories of Love could be someone or something from the past wanting to come back in. 
and you're being asked to stay strong and stay in balance around that as well. If something hasn't been for your highest good in the past, if it didn't work out before, if it threw you off course, threw you off balance, made you doubt yourself, question yourself, turn things over in your mind over and over again but not get anywhere, not move forward, you really need now to let it go and only hold on to the things that feed your inner fire. Okay, that's it for you number one, group number one. Um, thanks very much for listening and let's see what we've got for group number two. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, group number two. Your angel is play. I love that. Okay, so play, basically telling me straight away that some of you need to just have some fun, have more fun. Stop taking things so literally and so heavily is what I've heard. So in other words, and I don't even know how that relates to life, but it's like I'm being told, stop taking life so literally widen your view, widen your viewpoint, you know, it's not all that serious. Have some fun, remind yourself to have fun, remind yourself how to have fun, recapture your sense of fun and regain your sense of humour, it's going to be really important. For some of you it will be literal, some of you play an instrument, it's time to pick it up again. Some of you play a game, a sport, something, you know, something that's literally like, um, you know, an activity or a hobby or something that really gives you something important. So that's a part of what you need to know right now, that whatever it is that lights you up, that makes you feel that sense of fun and joy and lightness, you need to bring it back in now. Okay, and you've got blessings. Love that card. By the way, the cards are all listed below. That's a beautiful one from Diana Cooper's Unicorn Deck. And um, these are all amazing cards. All right, so we've got Blessings, Two of Ariel, which is Two of Pentacles. We've got Six of Raphael, Six of Cups, and we've got the Chariot. <gasps> wow, that's exciting. Okay, so first of all, count your blessings. Really appreciate everything that you've got. It doesn't matter how far you've come, where you've been, what the struggle's been like. Appreciate what you have right now, everything you have right now, even if all you have is your ability to play, get your sense of humour. I feel for some people in this group, the reason that's come up is because you've been a bit down and because things have not been very playful for you. But a part of your healing will be to get playful again. I feel that there is something really important about play and playfulness and the sense of fun that is going to actually take you forward to success in some way, to this chariot place, to this place where you can focus and have that vision that drives you forward in life, that causes you to achieve something, but it needs to be done in the right energy and in the right spirit. Um, and you've got the two of Ariel. So you need to have balance. The other group got their, their angel card was balance, but you also need to have balance and it's really, really important for you because you're moving towards something that looks like a really big change, a destined change, something that is guided by spirit, not just something that comes out of, you know, the ramblings of our minds. When we get the major cards, the major arcana, it's usually to do with something that's been planned and predestined and you're moving to a place of big advancement in your goals, in your career, just having your success being acknowledged, acknowledged for everything that you've done. Um, you've also got the six of Raphael, which is to do with looking back at the past, to do with friendships, to do with connections from the past, maybe old loves, maybe old hobbies, old things. This is interesting. This came up before as well. So it could be something that you, you see play with the Six of Cups is really powerful because the Six of Cups is all about the inner child, the sense of fun, the past, the times, you know, when we were young, I'm thinking about that, that Adele song just popped into my head when we were young. You know, when you were younger, when you were just much more carefree, when you allowed yourself to have fun, you weren't always thinking about planning your next move or strategizing about your next goal or figuring out what to do next or where, 
none of that you know I feel for some people because I just felt my chest clenching some people are stressing themselves out too much by thinking too much about their next goal their next achievement and why haven't I done this yet why hasn't this happened yet all of that stuff needs to go and you need to get back to a much softer innocent place where you knew everything was going to be all right and you just had to get up and have fun and you know okay we've got to work but you know in between that to just be able to give yourself some playtime, give yourself some time out so that you can come back to a place of balance and receiving um, the understanding that you need to get you here. It doesn't always come from trying to figure things out technically in our minds. Um, so, okay, let's look at this. We've got the Nine of Gabriel, which is nine of wands so for some of you gosh there has been a real sense of of burden a real sense of pressure a real sense of having to carry something and struggle with something or someone and move on and, and just keep going no matter what and because we've got we've got boredom and we've got discontent and we've got achievements in career which is the end goal and we've also got destiny which is the ten you see when you get to the end of each row you've you've got a major card so you've got the wheel of fortune you've got the chariot and so it's looking quite extraordinary but the process is not so much fun the process is it's like I'm itching to get away from this or to get out of this situation I'm so bored here I need to get back to something that feels more fresh and more real and, and much more me and more fun and playful and there's this heavy burden this pressure of, of whatever it is that you're doing now and also along the way you're feeling more connected spiritually you're you're receiving spiritual inspirations about things that you need to be doing that are of a higher dimension and you want to get to that place but you have to get through this tricky bit the way to get around the boredom and the discontentment is to just go back to having something in the spaces that brings you joy and fulfillment and happiness and understanding that even if you're not able to make the huge break or the huge change that you want to just yet you can still have fun in the process along the way to that change wow triumphant success there's a lot of success see for those of you who are thinking i need to change my job because i'm bored it's ironically there's huge success for you coming in the uh, situation that you're in now but there's also another kind of success coming further down the line so uh, just try to introduce some fun into your life in general you've got developmental clarity you've got two cards that are about the inner child or children and innocence and you've got play some people will actually work with children or will be thinking of doing something that involves working with children some people really just need to relax and let themselves have a break but another thing to remember here is that you've got developmental clarity so once again you're being told that you will receive more inspiration when you allow yourself to relax so because you've got the crown chakra here if you have had a spiritual awakening recently it could be that that is what's really sharpening your mind and making you clear that you can't do this anymore. You can't do the th things the way that you've been doing them anymore. So you're kind of juggling things as well. Some of you will be starting a new business on the side or you'll be doing readings in the evening or, or healing or, or studying Reiki or studying something while you've still got your job. And it takes a lot of energy to do that so you're just being reminded that even though what you're doing is something that you love you know what you're doing in your spare time is something that you that you are committed to that you care about do something fun as well something that's just playful something that isn't about work or career direction or study okay that's what it is that's where you need to bring the play in purify your body some people need to think about what they're putting into their bodies i'm not sure it's really funny this card it's an odd you've got an extra card somehow but it's interesting which card you've got here you've got life review it's time for you to take an inventory of your life to just look around at everything that you're doing everything that you've done so far did you make the right choice you know you were offered offered an opportunity some of you a while ago the two of pentacles that can also mean travel for some people they didn't take that opportunity for some people that opportunity is coming back round again for some people 
it's still there, it never went away, but it's up to you to initiate contact to make it happen this time. Triumphant success, the ace, the aces can be to do with initiating things, making things happen rather than waiting for them to happen. So, you know, if there's something that involves um, travel, because the chariot can mean travel, it can be moving. So you could have something, some kind of a travel goal or a career connected with travel and with working with children, or if not, just travel but doing something that you love, that feeds your inner child, that makes you happy, that brings you back to life. And it's almost as if this is actually a bit more in line with your destiny than some of the things that you're thinking about at the moment but it's only for you to know whether that's true or not because it might not be something that involves travel but it will definitely be something you know it's up to you to know whether all the details apply it might be only to do with um you know, your inner child and doing something that you love and that makes you feel playful. The kind of work that feels like play, something like that. OK, um, so think it through. Have your life review where you take stock, where you write goals down, where you where you just dream. Give yourself time to dream and play and think and, and see what you find fun and remember what you find fun and let that bring you back to who you really are. Okay, number two. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for listening. All the details of all the cards I've used are below. And also, if you want to connect with me, the information about that is below. Okay, so let's see what we've got for number three. Group number three, you've got Harmony. Great. All right, so for you, something that you need to know at the moment is that it's really important for you to think in terms of creating harmony with the people around you. Harmony in your home, harmony among friends, harmony at work, harmony in all the groups that you are a part of. Even if um, some of the relationships are challenging, it's really important for you to use those experiences as an opportunity to learn how to become a more harmonious person and that doesn't mean someone who's tolerant of stuff that isn't acceptable but just to achieve a state of inner harmony so that things don't excuse me so that things don't upset you or throw you off balance quite so easily you've got feather you've got the eight of ariel eight of raphael and change your life so a sudden revelation that offers freedom. There's something coming that is going to give you an opportunity to make some changes. It's time for you to make some changes. You also have the Eight of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eights are often to do with endings. So there's something that needs to be wrapped up now so that you can start to achieve the benefits of your work. You've done some really good work when we see the eight of pentacles the eight of ariel it means that you've really put a lot of effort into something you've achieved something whether it's effort that you've put into a relationship or effort that you've put into a project or a goal it's something that you've you've completed it's something that you've done really well and to the best of your ability and that actually you've done while achieving a great deal of harmony so I actually feel for some of you, you'll have comp completed a relationship recently and you'll have done that really harmoniously and lovingly and you're being commended for that. And you're being asked to congratulate yourself and to use everything that you've learned as an experience that can carry you forward in all areas of your life. You'll be a much more harmonious and balanced and loving and gentle person now. Not that you weren't before, but it will help you in all areas of your life. And for some of you, this is definitely a walking away because you've got the Eight of Cups. And um, yeah, it's, it's time for big change. But well done for being a, a superstar and just being really you know, really classy about the way that you dealt with whatever you've just dealt with. You've also got a feather and um, 
yeah, a calling card from the universe, it says. But feathers can be, you know, they can show up at the most unexpected times. I know I used to see a lot of white feathers connected to um, make it, decisions that I was making. Like I'd see, if I was thinking of, uh, of going to get a new keyboard or something, I'd see feathers all along the path to the music shop and things like that. You know, if I was thinking of, of getting some new cards or something, I, I might see feathers or feathers will just appear sometimes they'll appear to say well done or sometimes they'll appear to guide you or or to let you know that you're not alone and I feel that you could be seeing feathers around you at the moment and if you're not yet you could do in the future and just notice them and take note of when they actually appear what what are you doing when you see them what's happening around you and for some of you some of you are writers because you know feathers can be symbolic of of writing the quill pen and um, and some of you are inspired writers i feel for some people though there is fear around that because i just felt that coming up my guides just gave me that feeling of that fear in the solar plexus and i feel that <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing because they know that there there are a few out there that this lesson is, speci is specifically for this message is specifically for so just take a deep breath and um and allow yourself to get back into balance you know that you've walked through this specific and particularly challenging path for a reason because it will help you um to understand life and people and love a lot better um, it will govern your decisions in the future. You'll be a lot wiser as well. And you'll be able to guide others and help others. So just trust the path that you've been on and um, yeah, congratulate yourself and know that something amazing is happening. Um, and something amazing is waiting to happen as well. Something new. Oh, wow. You've got the Empress as well. So... The Empress can be to do with um, plans and creativity and, and being um, expecting something, being literally being pregnant with something. It's, she's a symbol of fertility and birthing things into the world, abundance and, and resources and things like that. But it can also be a card that symbolises the divine feminine, the divine who's ready for the divine counterpart, the divine, um, you know, the divine masculine, the divine partner, the twin flame. So it could be that as a result of going through all of these changes and all of these upheavals, you've opened yourself up spiritually. There's a lot of light that's come to you and you've raised your vibration a great deal. And it's, you know, you've become the highest, the embodiment of the highest that you can be in terms of your heart and how you handle yourself emotionally and in relationships and how you rule the kingdom of, of your being, if you like. I know that sound, sounds um, strange, but that's the way that I was feeling it. And right next to her, you've got the emperor. <laughs> so there you go. OK, so there's your partnership. There's your divine partnership waiting to come in. So this looks like it's kind of a love one. <laughs> And, you know, when you see the Eight of Cups, you can you can almost predict that, but not always, because that can be about walking away from a career that doesn't suit you or from any situation that isn't right for you. But this looks as if it's very much to do with love and to to have had to do with having had quite a challenging time in love and relationships and, you know, almost not trusting the future or your journey, not only in terms of relationships in your heart, but it's like your life journey. So this could be a relationship that's actually had a very deep impact for some people, you know, like almost an emotionally abusive relationship or something that, you know, caused you to question yourself on every level. But because of that, you really, 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 really know yourself now. And in knowing yourself to that degree and taking your power back and asserting your divine sovereignty you've become the kind of counterpart or you're on the way to becoming the counter the kind of counterpart who can attract the um, divine complement there's still a way to go but look what comes right next to that <laughs> partnerships and alliances how perfect 
so it's coming something much better is coming you know that it's not for nothing all of this and look at that light as well the light dawns after a time of real darkness after a time of hopelessness after a time of thinking oh my god you know why is this happening what have i done to how am i going to get out of this what the heck you know all of that stuff it's like you had to become empowered in this situation to to ever move away from it and it was because of that empowerment that you've now become a person who can have full access to all the divine light that you carry within yourself and within those that you attract into your energy because you know everyone we meet is us pushed out right so you can't attract this unless you become this so wow okay <laughs> Material and spiritual prosperity. This is amazing. Okay. And look at this creative writing and feather. So, you know, I'm not going to pin it down and say literally that this is going to apply to everyone, but this is a, looking like a spread for a creative writer. It's kind of, if I was to really pin it down <laughs> as, a, as a story and be very specific here, and again, this isn't for everyone, this kind of looks like someone who has been through a very toxic relationship, has walked away, changed their lives, met their their twin flame or a, a deep soulmate connection. And this could be looking into the future. This couldn't. This could be. It hasn't happened yet, but it's you're on the cusp of it, or you're about to give birth to it. You're almost vibrationally ready for it, and then they turn around and they write a book about it. They write about it. They write about it in a way that helps others to heal. Okay? Very powerful stuff. You're also being asked to remember to connect to the divine. And then you've got this, you know, next to these two, which is kind of, in this reading, I'm going to read this as the divine feminine and divine masculine. You know, it doesn't have to be gender specific. These are just qualities. But that's how it how it's feeling at the moment the divine feminine divine masculine a perfect a wonderful pairing that comes together in the world in service to the world and then continues to to grow that divine connection you might have been with someone who you felt pulled you away from the divine who didn't share your passion your spiritual passion your love of source god creator whatever your love of spiritual work whatever name you want to give it your love of growth evolution you know reaching out reaching in all of that but you have let go of what's not good for you and because of that you've opened yourself up for that thing that does exist that is possible and and in it comes and it not only allows you to blossom and be yourself but it supports you in growing that divine connection even more you know that is under him so he might even be more passionate than you are about it which is what you want right you want someone who's who's equally in that place with you okay so and you have material and spiritual prosperity so the richness that comes from that dark night that horrible experience that you've been through the richness that that comes from that you cannot trade that for anything there was a maya angelou book which um actually is the, one of the ones i haven't read yet and but it was something like nothing for my journey wouldn't take anything for my journey that might not be the exact title but it's i guess the the idea is what whatever we go through is so precious because it makes us who we are you know it brings a spiritual richness that we wouldn't have had without it so take all of it take the beauty that it brings to your soul the growth the evolution and the gift that it gives you if you are a writer of something new to to bring to the world if you're not a writer it might just be that through doing a lot of journaling, getting it all out of your system, it really helps to heal your heart at a much deeper level. You might find yourself writing for the first time. You might write poetry, you might write songs, you might write your affirmations down to help you to heal. You might write your manifestations to, to bring in this divine creature. Okay, and finally, 
you've got I seem to have an extra card for all the readings anyway so we'll leave, have that as a, a final card you've got sensitive sensitivity so naturally of course you have become more sensitive possibly as a result of the connection that you've had but possibly just because you were you were sensitive all along and you've just opened up even more because of um, you know the situations or the environments around you but that sensitivity is also a part of your journey and it will be a part of the blessing of your journey because you'll be able to receive divine inspiration for all of your creative offerings they might not be books they they could be any kind of offering writing can mean anything anything that you put into form can be like um a piece of writing creative writing it's just a creation of some kind so the creations that you bring will be birthed out of your sensitivity because you're more sensitive, because of who you've become. You will be able to receive a higher level of beautiful creations, you know, creations of a greater depth and beauty. OK, so look after yourself, nourish your body and soul, heal yourself and trust that things are great things are coming. All right, that's it for number group number three hope you enjoyed that okay so group number four let's see what you've got so your angel is gratitude so group number four it's very important for you to connect with your energy of gratitude when you're manifesting when you're just uh see look at that you've got wishes straight away so for group number four what you need to know is that the things that you're wishing for you need to get into the right energy in order to make them come into fruition. Let love in. <laughs> Perfect. So you need to let... The energy of love is a very powerful energy for manifesting. It's a very powerful vibration. Some of you are actually trying to manifest love and that's why you've got that. I'm just looking at my camera. It's blinking. So this message might be quite short. Just I'm going to try to wrap it up quickly. Um, okay, so you've got let love in allow flow and synchronicity into your life and you've got patience as well so if you are trying to manifest something just be patient and be aware that it's coming okay prioritize you've got four of gabriel you've got nine of ariel and you've got leap of faith okay so what you're going to need to do number four is you're going to need to believe in yourself, trust yourself, listen to your heart. And this could be in love and it could be in career. It could be in any manifest manifestations that you have at all. But to me, it looks like something that's a bit um, adventurous. It says allow for flow and synchronicity in your life. I'm looking at all this orange and I'm thinking all this orange and pink and it looks like an adventure, something creative, something fun and inspiring, but something that does require you to take a leap and to have that sense of adventure. You've also got the Ten of Michael, which is the Ten of Swords, which means you've come to the end of a very difficult, <laughs> very difficult experience, which is, it seems to be a theme at the moment. Um, it's the times that we're in and it means it's leading to a great deal of evolution and growth and it's also leading to the possibility of a whole new emotional beginning. So you might at the moment feel as if things are still on hold. You're waiting to go forward. You're waiting to hear news of something. You're waiting to know that you can go ahead and take this leap of faith. And you know that ultimately when you do, it's going to lead to some kind of a material harvest, some kind of a reward for everything that you've been working on, everything that you've been trying to manifest but it could just be a bit stuck at the moment and it's stuck because you're not quite in the right energy or the timing is not quite right it's a bit of both so while you're waiting try to relax try to stay in peace you're overcoming obstacles and challenges now it might have been very difficult in the past and it could be that because it was quite treacherous in the past you're thinking oh this is what's happening again there's more obstacles there's more hold-ups I can't can't do this you're being asked to trust and to take that leap of faith if it feels right for you whatever feels right for you but to be patient 
about waiting to hear. I feel as if it's something like this. It's like you're waiting for a contract to be offered or you're waiting to hear about a job or you're waiting to hear from someone, a connection, and you're being asked to be really, really patient about it because at some point it is going to manifest and it is going to require that you take that leap that you've been wondering, am I going to be asked to make that leap? Am I going to be asked to sign that contract? Is it going to come through? Is it going to happen? Or for some, am I going to make it happen? And it looks as if yes is the answer, but you really do need to just pace yourself, get into gratitude, do make a note of five things you're grateful for every morning. And make what this really looks like with the Ace of Cups, you know, love begins and let love in. It very much looks like you need to keep your heart open in order to manifest your wishes and dreams. It's that simple. If you get to a place where you think, oh, nothing ever works out for me. This is awful. I'm disappointed about the things that didn't work out in the past. Nothing, you know, that is going to block it. So I'm going to pick one more card for you, actually, because that obstacles and challenges. OK, you've got the Queen of Gabriel and that's upside down. So the Queen of Gabriel, this is if it's the right way up, because I don't usually read them reverse. But as it's upside down and we're looking for extra advice, I'm going to take it as a reversal. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. What the reason what it says when it's reversed is that you don't believe you can, which goes perfectly with what we've said. So you have to keep your attitude high and stay in gratitude. I'm going to read that one up right. The moon, insecurities, unsure about things, but you have the opportunity to change everything, to move forward if you trust and listen to your intuition. Let's do one more. Spiritual understanding. Understanding the situation from a spiritual perspective will get give you the chance to see that everything happens in divine timing and that sometimes all of these things are hinging totally on your attitude. Get into the attitude of gratitude and you can manifest wonderful things. Look, you've got material harvest. The only things that are negative in this reading are all things to do with mindset, to do with seeing things as a problem, to do with not thinking you can do it, to do with doubts and insecurities and gratitude. So meditate on gratitude and get back into your heart and trust in the abundance of the universe and trust in your own manifesting ability. Something amazing is trying to get to you. Leap of faith, take it and you'll get your material harvest. Okay, good luck with that. Thanks for listening. All the links are below if you want to work with me and I've listed the cards that I've used in this reading as well. I hope you enjoyed that number four and um, all the very best with everything. Take care. Bye.